Second and eight. McSorley on the run again with an opener. McSorley to the five, weaving to the end zone, touchdown! Watch McSorley, he's looking down the field. He sees that it's man coverage. The rest of it is just courtesy of his... Jay Hamler's in the slot to the top of your screen. On first down, play action. McSorley, under backside oh, pressure, man. able to get away. Open on the sideline and a first down into App State territory, Jonathan Holland. Nicely done by Trace McSorley with his feet. 7.30 Eastern right here on BTN. Told you I'd get it in. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> McSorley looking deep. Got a man open. It's Hamler. Hamler's got it. First and goal. He just ran that bad boy down. That was a really nice throw. 36 seconds to play at Beaver Stadium. They brought fresh play action. McSorley throw for the end zone. Oh. Hamler's got a touchdown. What a throw, Kevin. Pressure in his face. That's a Heisman play right there. Look at McSorley with pressure in his face. Look at this ball, where it has to be. The Clifton Duck has played a whale of a game all game long. Good coverage, but man, that is money. Look at McSorley with pressure in his face. Look at this ball, where it has to be. Sanders, the set back. McSorley nice again. Eyes. Deep for Tompkins. He's got a touchdown. DeAndre Tompkins. Opportunity, you can see this is the route that's going to come unclear underneath. Montez is doing a great job, but the nod and the move is what gets him. <laughs> little post corner route was the job that did it. He thought he was going to the corner and came back to the post route. Just an unbelievable job of shaking the guy on the back end. Opportunity, you can see this is the route that's going to come unclear underneath. Montez is doing a great job, but the nod and the move is what gets him. <laughs> little post. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top in his younger days. Oh, yeah. McSorley looping it long. It's nice. caught. Touchdown. Brandon Polk, 41 yards. Twenty-one of Illinois for McSorley and Penn State. McSorley taking the shot on first down to the end zone. Touchdown. KJ Hamler, 21 yards. KJ Hamler is a versatile player. You'll see him inside, you'll see him out. First play, McSorley took a shot to the end zone. To KJ Hamler, it paid off. State, two possessions twice into Ohio State territory. McSorley steps up first, downfield shot, jump ball, and Johnson goes up and makes a spectacular one-handed catch over Damon Arnett. Everybody forgot their white shirt. I mean, no. everybody remembers it when they come out here. McSorley looking to throw on first down, now he'll scramble. All oh, kinds of green grass in front of the quarterback. McSorley still motoring deep into Ohio State territory. Sheffield, finally. Knocked him out. I want you to watch Tough Borland because he's responsible for the quarterback, but he kind of gets lost. Everybody else in man-to-man, -man, Tough Borland, who's supposed to be spying and taking, being accountable for Trace McSorley, everybody else has their back. Parker would never have played this defense with a healthy Trace McSorley. McSorley airing one out, has a man. It's Hamler had to hold up, but he's able to bring it down. K.J. Hamler on the receiving end of a big play. Geno Stone is the safety over the top, and Hamler runs right by Amani Hooker. That's that's Stone. Here comes Hampton on a blitz. It's sorely over the middle. It is caught by Dotson on the freshman Avery Young. Into the red zone. First down, Penn State. Iowa knows it too. Iowa's defense knows it too. That surely can't run the way he did, let's say, a week ago. Although he takes off here. Trace McSorley runs just fine down the sideline for the touchdown. Trace McSorley, extra point is good. 
Big Storley appears to be okay, and Penn State has their first lead of the game. That's him to the left of McSorley. McSorley right up the middle, has plenty of running room across midfield. Here's Trace McSorley doing it with his legs, and he's out at the 24-yard line. He is here. Watch the linebacker go with him, and then it's going to open up the inside for Trace McSorley. You have to respect when Tommy Stevens is in there, and then we talked about the elusiveness, extending plays, and hurting it with his feet. How about third and 13? Ohio State shows pressure again. This time McSorley steps up and lost it for Hamler, who comes back and makes a catch. Contact. He, he the crown of the helmet. He beats Fuller one on one and looked like a shoulder actually hit the helmet of Hamler. Hamler, by the way, is still down. Here's another look. Let's get Dave Katai in for the first time tonight. And See what Rick Nelson, the replay official, might be looking at here, Dave. He, he the beat, crown of the helmet. He beats Fuller one on one and looked like a shoulder actually hit the helmet. Negative 12 yards, his rushing total so far. Has time, no one to throw to. Now delivers over the middle, and it's Fryer Muth, the tight end who beat Bush in coverage. First down across the 40. His eyes, he looks to that right slot. He wants to throw that fade there, then comes back off of it, hits the tight end. McSorley. Going to try and take off. Nobody throws. Touchdown. His second of the afternoon. That was receiver back. First and goal. McSorley in the end zone. Tuna here before half to put points on the board. They did. I think you were right about why they decided not to go for it. McSorley, nice run, stumbles ahead down to the 35. First down, Nittany Lions. Yesterday wasn't exactly pretty, but they got a couple of victories. McSorley, that quarterback run game has helped spark Penn State's offense, which was so slow starting. Grabbed by the Miami Dolphins. Obviously, he's got the record at Penn State for the most receptions by a tight end. But here he is right here. here. Might be tracking some of his records someday. There you Touchdown, go. Penn State. Ball at the Rutgers 28. Pat Fryermuth. Little fake block there. Fake block out to the route. Nice catch. None better than number nine. Slade in motion. The fake. McSorley. Touchdown. He's just not going to go quietly. Nope. He's got something going on with his foot, with his toe, whatever it is.